Hello everyone, what's up, what's up? Long time no speak. Been dealing with a lot, trying to get grounded again. Today, I finally get to try out these Fenty Beauty products. You know what? When it came out, I should have gone to the Sephora, but I wasn't thinking and, well, no, I actually was thinking. I didn't want to go to the store. I didn't want to have to deal with lines and people. And so I just winged it. I ended up getting the foundation, the matchsticks, and the lip gloss so i can do a sort of like overall look for you all this right here i don't know if it's gonna work out for me because like i said i picked it out online this is color 450. i believe the foundation is around 34 ish dollars i think the max sticks that the trio i think it's in the close to 50 maybe 30 to 50 dollars maybe i'm not sure i'll put the prices up top here somewhere the lip gloss is 18 dollars i I don't know why I did it to myself. I, I just wanted to do an overall look for you all. So that's why I got the lip gloss. But to be honest with you, I don't think I need the lip gloss. I have hyperpigmentation and I do not think it's gonna cover my hyperpigmentation, but we shall see. Let's start off with foundation because I've already put on my primer. I've already done my brows. Although maybe I shouldn't have put on the head wrap yet. So the description for the foundation says medium to full coverage for all, long wear, light as air. And I'm going to be applying this foundation with a beauty blender, mainly because all of my brushes that I use to apply foundation are dirty and I do not want to taint this first impressions. Let's talk about packaging real quick. Very luxurious. I love the frosty glass. And this is straight up glass white cap, you know, very minimalistic. Uh, it says to shake well. And by the way, Fenty Beauty is cruelty free. I checked and double checked my sources. Rihanna knows what's up. It actually doesn't look too far off from my skin tone. I'ma shake it real good. And it comes with a pump. That's what I'm talking about. I'm spending $34. I expect to have a damn pump. So I'm just gonna pump some on my hand. Uh, here it is. Very liquidy. Let me go right in. To the center and I'm gonna blend it out it smells it smells nice like baby it smells like baby am I bugging I could tell it's very lightweight I could tell I still got a little bit more on my hand here I could put here I'm just gonna stay away from this head wrap sure it kind of reminds me of like a BB cream. But then again, it could also be that I'm applying it with a beauty blender. I just want something very lightweight for today. Okay, well, let me think. You know what? I'm gonna have a second pass at this on the scars that I have on the side of my face. So this one and these right here. We'll see how well it covers up let me try my under eyes too it did cover up my scar i've had that scar for a hot ass minute too all right let me try this side my skin she ain't doing so well i really need to drink some more water so first impressions i don't really find it to be a soft matte it's more of like a, but it's also not like dewy either. It's like right in between a matte and a dewy. And it kind of applies like a BB cream where it's that very light wash of color. I feel like it might be a little darker than my neck. What do you guys think? Do you think it's okay? I could probably get away with it once I apply my concealer which I'm gonna do right now. So with the MAC Sticks Trio, I got Suede, Espresso, and Cinnamon. Suede is supposed to be the concealer, Espresso is supposed to be the contour, and Cinnamon is supposed to be the highlighter. And I was watching a couple videos on YouTube and they're magnetic. How awesome is that? This is so awesome, it's so different. Packaging on these is really great. And I love the hexagon shape hopefully this is hexagon this has what one two three four six sides can y'all correct me if i'm wrong yeah this is a concealer and i rolled it up all the way to the top um you get that much product in this tube let's let's conceal let's conceal
definitely pigmented and you know what it's not too like in your face put some in the center the center here center there like that now i'm going to take espresso which is a really deep color and you know what i believe this is the deepest it comes in which is okay for now but i hope and pray that rihanna comes out for more deeper complected women and boys who are interested in trying this out so yeah this contour could get it this contour could get it though i like how these sticks apply <laughs> and it just snapped on its own that's amazing next up i'm going to blend out the contour with a brush i didn't buy any of the tools um so i'm just going to apply with whatever clean brushes i have it's blendable this is blendable i have no problems blending the contour out you just get the bottom and just try not to mess up my damn head scarf all right and i'm taking my beauty blender and i'll be blending out the concealer slash highlight okay okay first impressions this is definitely not like a thick consistency kind of concealer it's definitely a lot not like the Tarte Shape Tape kind of gives you that natural effortless almost looks like you're not wearing makeup makeup look while still enhancing the areas that you applied product to and i like the fact that this suede concealer stick has like a very neutral color i feel like the color really works with my skin tone it doesn't really smell like anything here is my face with the Fenty Beauty Concealer and Contour. It looks very skin-like and it definitely wasn't hard to blend. Uh, the consistency is not thick, which is actually good on days where I don't want to look super, super beat. And it still covers up my blemishes. And I'm looking here, it doesn't look like my under eye circles are peeking through. I could put more, but I'm really trying to keep it light today. Now I'm applying cinnamon, which is this highlighter, and I'm putting it right there. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I'm applying it here as well. Okay, I think that's the only areas I'm applying. Wait, wait, wait. Let me let me put it here too. And then with the back of my booty blender. I'm gonna blend, blend, blend. Okay, okay, I see you though. I see you though. Okay, I definitely see it peeking through. Definitely not too in your face, which I like. I want that natural effervescent glow. And I see a glow. Do you see the glow, girl? Mm, it's time for that glow up. I'm smelling something. I don't know what it is. It might be the foundation, but the, the, the smell is not bad. It's like a very light perfume or it even almost smells like baby. I don't have anything else in the Fenty Beauty line that would help, you know, set my makeup. So I'm going to do the rest of my makeup off camera. I'll be back and give you some more thoughts before I head out. All right, this is my face, rest of my makeup on, and now I'm gonna finish everything off with this lip gloss. This is the Gloss Bomb Universal Lip Luminizer. Whenever something says universal, I'm just like, eh. It smells like candy, like, like nerds. It smells like nerds. It's very thick, the applicator. Okay. I don't, I don't know. 
I don't hate it, but I can live without it. So final thoughts real quick. I don't think the foundation is bad at all. I mean, this foundation is very BB-like. I feel like I'm at the stage where I want lighter foundations, just a very light, fresh look. And the fact that it's getting a lot cooler, it's really great for me because I don't have to worry about all of my oils coming through so much. So I kind of like having a BB cream like foundation in the mix and it does cover some of my blemishes on this side, on that side, all over. I feel like the consistency of the concealer could be a bit more creamier. I felt like the contour stick was a bit more creamier than the cream highlighter stick. As far as the highlighter and cinnamon, it was cool. I mean, hopefully you can see that glow from within kind of look about me, but um, I could probably live without the highlighting stick. I'm just saying. As far as the lip gloss, I can live without it, but I like the smell. It smells like nerds. It takes me back to my childhood and I'm just having wild, wild thoughts about it. <laughs> that is all for right now. I'll check y'all later. 327 Ooh, That's okay. I'm just checking in on this foundation. I am back home and time now is 8:14, so a good 7 to 8 hours rocking this foundation uh looking from the lcd screen it doesn't i mean it looks quite dewy i'm gonna be honest with you um, as far as creasing is concerned there was a little bit that settled into my lines over here i don't see it too much on this side but on this side i do and sometimes what i like to do when there is build up on my lap lines i like press in with like this part and then it kind of like flattens the product and make it look skin like again i get creasing whether the foundation is good or bad it's the amount of creasing that really bothers me the amount of creasing that i got using this foundation actually wasn't that bad so i definitely have to at least acknowledge that the issue is just like the the oil i didn't expect it to be this much oil especially when i wasn't doing anything to, like I literally was just sitting down in front of a computer just like editing my brains off so yeah that's weird but um as far as like the contour I love the contour that's one of my favorites for sure lip gloss let me tell you I forgot my lip gloss at home and as you saw from the previous clip like like I could definitely live without the lip gloss and as a matter of fact I have a similar lip gloss that has like a luminescence to it that is definitely not $18 and as far as like the cream concealer stick I feel like it's a bit dry for my under eye and it's weird because like I have oily skin and you would think that I would love a good cream to powder finish on a concealer the luminescence the 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 highlighting stick is is very beautiful and luminescent i have i have similar ones like i feel bad i feel bad for like not being overjoyed at all of the products you know i i really wanted me to really really love 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 the products but to be honest with you i could live without some things you know and i'm just going to be completely honest with you i don't see myself on a regular basis buying an 18 dollars lip gloss i mean lip gloss for 18 dollars. i mean like come on <laughs> that is it i i hope that you know you still love me after this review i know some of the rihanna navy be going in 
hard body i hope that it was enjoyable for you to watch if you did enjoy it then please let me know by giving me a big thumbs up also comment down below and let me know what other sorts of reviews you'd like for me to do next or if you want to see like these types of reviews on the blog instead of the youtube channel then definitely let me know as well share this video of course and remember to subscribe because I make videos because i make videos <laughs> by the way Thank you so much for 80,000 subscribers. I am forever grateful and thankful to have you all in my life. I really, really am. And I just wanna acknowledge you all for, for all that you do. You guys continue to support me. You guys continue to watch. And thank you so, so much. I wanna thank you all so much for watching and supporting and subscribing to my channel. And I will see you all in the next one. Peace. Out. <laughs>